previously. Yeah! Effect. Yeah, all right, okay, you are so cool. On Progression Series Season 2. Dude, I literally 100. just had to yeah. pendulum summon this stupid cavalier from hand. I had it in hand, and I was just like, I think this is enough if I just summon Paladin. <laughs> it wasn't! I'm so upset. Oh man, all right, oh well, I guess we'll go into game gosh. three. In this series, both Nim Nim and myself will be opening 24 booster packs or one box of a core Yu-Gi-Oh! booster set. We will build a deck and play a best two out of three, and the winner will receive a small prize to upgrade their deck. However, in each episode, we will open another box of the next set that was released moving in chronological order, constantly upgrading our decks before dueling each other at the end of each episode. But this time around, we'll We'll be introducing side sets, a new banning system, and plenty of other fun surprises that you'll just have to watch to find out. This is the Yu-Gi-Oh! Progression Series Season 2. If you want 5% off any singles or sealed product, click the affiliate links in the description and use code CMO5. And clicking the TCG Player affiliate link before you shop helps support us to provide you with more amazing content. Norden! Norden! Elder Entity Norden! We're banning Norden! There's nothing else we need to discuss! Ban Norden! Alright, now that that's out of the way, uh, we can go ahead and claim our wheel for winning last episode. Thank you, ban ticket that we spun last time. Let's see if we can keep the win streak going. And, uh, now that I think about it, isn't Gage on the verge of a banning too? That's interesting. Unfortunately, we only spin a wild card rare. Let's see what we can pull out of our last set. So we can take either a rare or a common. I gotta be honest, there's not like too much that's great to pull. Like Kieran's pretty good, but Kieran gets limited quite quickly. And so that would be a bit of a waste. I actually think I'm gonna take a Gamma Seal. I already have one, I believe, for my opening. So this would put us to two. And honestly, that feels pretty good because later on the Kaijus actually get a lot better and can just out a lot of really weird stuff. So we'll add it to the collection and let's turn it over to Gage. We can tell you all about today's set, Breakers of Shadow. I didn't wanna speak too much on that last game that we played. I am ashamed, bro. <laughs> Games that are so within reach, I just tend to fumble them, bro. 100 life points, bro. I could have breathed on the guy wrong and he would have been dead. I can't believe he took it right from underneath us. Definitely some silly plays on my part. I gotta start locking down if I want to return to the Age of Gage. Today's set, though, is huge. I'm very excited to open Breakers of Shadows, released January 14th, 2016. To mark off the new year, this was one of the craziest sets the game had ever seen. We saw a little bit of play with Ignite, which is a cool pendulum deck, but this is the first pendulum-like archetype or completion of pendulum support where people said, oh, this is going to be a thing. Let me just tell you guys about some of the greatest cards in the set. Of course, we got some more Kaijus coming in, which were neat on their own as TCG cards, Gadarla and Jizakiru. Dynaster Power was a really cool fusion monster that didn't require polymerization, but it was usable because of another release in this set, Draco Faceoff. And then Performer Power Guitar Soul was another great release for the Performer Power archetype, taking a six spot, but also being, if you pair it with Lizard Draw, a lot of people uh, likened that to Pot of Greed back in the day. The Ultra Rares are like pretty crazy at the time, but like for progression series standards, nothing we can really look at. Neptibus, of course, integral for all of those water strategies. This card really, really, uh, literally does it all. Dumping an Atlantean from deck to graveyard to add an Atlantean, you know, dump Dragoons, add Dragoons, sounds just as strong now as it was back then. Cosmo Tin Can was actually really good, being a, a way to sort of search Cosmo cards from your deck to your hand. A little bit of randomness to it, but most of the times you would come out with a good result. And then Quaking Mirror Force was literally just gimmicky. I've gotten Quaking once or twice, I guess I could say. The Secret Rares were crazy. There were several Secret Rares that were really meta-defining. Perform of How Pendulum Sorcerer is that card that I'd like to say was the one that looped it all together. Uh, it paired with so many other great things released in this set, um, one of them in the super rare slot right below, I'll talk in a moment. This card literally made all the Performer Piles make sense. If it was special summon, you could target two cards you control, destroy them, and add Performer Piles with different names from your deck to your hand equal to the number destroyed. Crazy, crazy, crazy effect, especially when you paired it with Guitar Turtle Lizard Draw, Pot agreed it for two more cards. You could fill up the board with just some crazy things. I talked about how some of the pops are really important. Remember, Plush Fire was just released in the last set. When that's destroyed, it's special summons a perform age from deck. Also, Guiding Ariadne is in this set here, which if this is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can reveal three counter traps, and then your opponent chooses one to add a hand. Uh, pairs super well when Solemn Strike, a, a, a counter trap that you might be familiar with, debuted in this set. When a monster would be special summoned or a monster effect activated, pay 15, negate the summoner activation, destroy the card. Yeah. 
pretty sick, you know? Imagine you reveal that off guiding already on day three of them, you pick up one of them. This was like the de facto way to beat pendulum summons or any extra deck summon back then. It was sick. And even on top of that, Trap Tricks Rafflesia was a great turn one board starter back in the day to be able to pair with like Treacherous Trap Hole, maybe Bottomless or something, Time Space Trap Hole. And then Cyber Dragon Infinity felt like a card that nobody had seen before. The power level of this card felt unmatched. Everyone was terrified of this card when it came out. Not because it's just like Cyber Dragon support, which is cool on its own, I guess, but the fact that it was easy to make, generic even, if you use uh, Teller Knight Ptolemaeus, I think, that allows you to bump up into Nova and then into Infinity. Um, made some really ridiculous plays when you were playing this Perform a Pal deck. You're able to, you know, summon all the Perform Mages and Perform Pals, load up the extra deck and pendulum them out. Uh, keep in mind, all the Perform Mages are level four. You just need three of them to be able to cheat out a level five and then a level six, rank six, you know what I'm talking about. I feel like I'm talking a lot about the set, but there really is just that much to chat about. The super rares are also good, you know, more uh, Magic Spectre support. Uh, Ogama is actually really good. Allows you to set a spell or trap directly from the deck. You know, can't get ashed. Not something totally crazy, but... And then Twin Twisters was actually iconic too. This is one, I, I still wait to see this card get played again. Looks like Cosmic Cyclone has kind of taken its spot. But Twin Twister was, you can discard a card to MST two cards on the field. Game breaking for back in the day. And the fact that we got this in a super rare, everyone was so stoked. You can imagine with the rise of popularity of pendulums, uh, this was a great way to take out two scales. Commons, really quickly, I'll get through them. Monkey board was insane. This is a card that is currently a one today. It was banned for the longest time. This is a one card, complete your scales, a one card, search your combo co starters, a one card, everything. This this was the one card. And another one of those one cards was Draco Face Off, dude. You reveal a Draco Slayer Pendulum and Drake Overlord Pendulum from your deck. Uh, that's Vector specifically. Remember, we talked about him last episode. And then your opponent picks one for you to Pendulum or Special Summon, and the other just goes to your extra deck, so you can Pendulum Summon it later. This card, like, it's insane. It reads insane. I think this went to one, like, very quickly. Uh, this card was definitely, like I said, one of those cards that just doesn't come around often. Again, all the Draco Slayers, Drake Overlords are level four. More easy ways to make Ptolemyus to get into that Cyber Dragon Infinity. I think I'm finally done talking about it. There was so much to talk about. Even, even these cards are cool. Like, a Dragon's Bind is a sick little Vanities sort of card. And Forbidden Apocrypha, this card's, like, neat. There's so much to talk about with this set. A truly an iconic set to start off 2016. I even didn't talk about Phoenix Rhino Warrior. This would be great for our Burning Abyss archetype, if you know I still had Dante. Alright, so it's time. We're opening Astral Pack 8. We got three of those packs to open up. I hate opening the pity packs. It reminds me that I'm losing. <laughs> All right, let's see what we get from these ones here. Flip them up. Instant Fusion. These aren't anything useful. Uh, I was trying to get excited. I'm not. Ooh, Fiendish in Ultimate Rare, the Fiendish Chain, dude. This is actually a really, really cool card. Been picking up a lot of steam because of Tengu format, I think. Unfortunately, we already have a playset. If not, this might complete the playset, so maybe it comes to use. I think it's way past its prime. Cool card, though. Last pack? Graph. I think we already have a whole... F we have like five of him now. Uh, it is what it is. Never expect to get anything good from these nowadays. Um, back in the day, they were a little bit more impactful, but this time I think we're just retracking, getting some cool upgrades to rarities we didn't have before. Not like I can see them. They're digitized. Not the most exciting thing though. Breakers of Shadows is a crazy set. I cannot wait to open this. We already have Ptolemyus, which is one level of the hurdle to be able to make infinity. So if we can pull infinity, oh, I think I have to have Nova, which I don't know if I have. Let me, you know what? Let me check real quick. I do not have a Cyber Dragon Nova. So even if I pulled the infinity, I wouldn't be able to make it today. Pretty depressing. But let's open. Breakers of Shadow is an insane set. There are so many powerful cards that we can pull out of here. And uh, let's hope we get some of those today. 24 packs. Let's get right into it. And uh, Magic Specter Supercell is not what we want to see. Although, I will be happy to see Master Pendulum, the Draco Slayer, as well as Dynaster Power, the Mighty Draco Slayer. The reason for that is because we actually have Ignister, and I forget what Ignister can summon, but it might actually be able to summon any of the Draco Slayers, which means we actually now have a target to summon uh, out of our deck, because we didn't get Luster. Also have to keep an eye on the Dynamis, because they debut in the set as well, and uh, boy, if you watch Season 1, you know what work this archetype put in. First Ultra Rare, a Neptibus, the Atlantean Prince. Unfortunately, it's pretty useless for us considering Neptibus just like Mermail isn't viable in Prague, uh, but a really cool card nonetheless. Monkey Board, God, I can't believe this card was a common. For anyone who played back during this time and remembers how expensive some of the cards were in this set, imagine the alternate reality when we find out that Monkey Board is a secret rare instead of a common. Pepe would have been like one of the most expensive decks of all time. All right, nothing to write home about pack number one. I'm, I'm trying to get excited for everything that I see that's exciting because there's a lot. Like, 
Like nothing in that pack. Ah, monkey board. Whoa, monkey board. That card's crazy. And it's at three for us at the moment, too. For a very short stint of time, we'll be able to play with these Performer Pals at full power. I wonder if we can cook up anything crazy with them. Twin Twisters is great. Little Draco face-off action. Love to see it. And another monkey board. Not bad. Wow. Okay, another super rare. Kaiju Slumber this time. Even the bad super rares are, like, good, bro. Like... <laughs> Interrupted Kaiju Slumber is a great card. Um, just being able to dark hole the board, summon two. Also being able to banish and search Kaiju. I love it, man. This was this is really good back in the day. I remember playing this on a lot of different decks that I played. Another one. Oh, okay, cool. I'll take I mean, I'll take another one. I just remembered too, like that the reason we're getting so many super rares is this is the first set that they debuted a super rare in every pack. I don't know, man. Really marked the changing of uh how products were made in Yu-Gi-Oh!'s history. Like this is this was unheard of back in the day. Like I remember even getting a, a foil card in old school packs meant something, but nowadays they're they're one in every pack. Makes me yearn for the old days, bro. I miss it already. Oh, we, we completed the playset of Kaiju Slumber. I cannot believe it. Haven't gotten anything to write home about, though. No, None of the crazy, impactful secret rares. I'm still waiting, still waiting. That's my second Master Pendulum, though. Great with all the Draco face-offs. I, I, I do not mind seeing multiple copies of him. There's a Terran. Terran is important to get just because, again, it's another Dynamis name. We haven't seen any copies of Rex. Rex is only a super rare, so I'm actually hoping we get at least a few copies of him. But more importantly, I'm happy to get copies of Twin Twin. That's our first one. I'm hoping to get two, and then no matter what, we're almost probably going to save this, because if we miss on Twin Twister and Breakers of Shadow, that's going to suck, because this is some of the best spell and trap and rule the game has ever had. Being able to pitch a card enables so many different strategies. So happy they printed this card. So good. Holy fuck! fucking shit of all the secret rares we could have pulled we just got solemn fucking strike that is like one of the best ones because realistically i only think we can use a few of the secret rares and solemn strike is generic and we already have the solemn brigade in our format because we don't abide by the actual ban list we're going by uh, the traditional list so we can have the actual solemn brigade with warning judgment and strike Holy shit, Strike is so good. And a second Twin Twister? Oh, we're 100% keeping this. Honestly, as much as I want to play Dino Mist, fuck, I, I cannot pass up double Twin Twister Solemn Strike in the opening. And we're only halfway through. <gasps> oh my. <laughs> oh, I just looked this up and I don't think it's playable. I, I If there's any way that I can make the Cyber Dragon Infinity, Alex will shit, bro. It's going to take some time to look and see if that's even possible, though. What a pull. What a pull. This was recognized as, I think, like the best secret rare from the set back in the day. I don't think it was close. Oh, a tin can. Cosmo tin can. Unfortunately, this whole archetype is like uh, insanely high rarity. All the other cards, like you saw Dark Destroyer was a secret rare in last set. Really, really unlikely we would ever be able to build anything crazy with this until like the mega packs come around. Looks like our hollow luck has kind of fizzled out. I'm in like the last five packs. I've been looking for something that's not... The guaranteed super rare to talk about, and I haven't pulled it. Maybe in this pack? No, not much more luck. Wow, okay, coming on the last three here, I'm wondering if there's any... I mean, there's a guy, Sherinui Shogun Saga. Uh, he's neat. I don't think there's anything we can build with him, though. Another Draco face-off, which is slick. I gotta remember, I don't know if we had the Vector. Uh, that's the only way to be able to play this, is you have to have either Lecter, which was released in the next set, I think, or, or Vector back in the day to be able to play that. So those are the only Drake Overlords. Last two packs, though. Can I get anything good in the close of Breakers of Shadows? A second Twin Twister. I'm down to see that. But the last pack, what do you hold for me? It, some Sword Troopers. Nothing like that. Wondering if I want to keep this one. Uh, I, Dude, I got railed on the Hollow Luck. One Seeker Rare, an Ultra, two Ultras. That's it? You can get better than that, right? Let me think for a sec. Maybe, maybe we'll take this. Maybe not. That's insane. We triple twin twister. We literally just passed the halfway point of the opening and we got our third twin twister. We couldn't have asked for anything better. And we still have 11 more packs to open. It can get better than this. We could get like Rathlesia. Oh man, there's, there's a lot more that we could get. I'm really hoping. To continue with how crazy this opening has been, that's our third Jizukuter. Now, obviously, like, there's, it's really easy to pull the Kaijus, but the fact that we have another one of the best Kaijus is just insane. All right, after much deliberation, I am not at all happy with this opening. I've been rerolling a lot recently, but this is going to be another set that I feel is worthy of a reroll. Out of all the rares and stuff, too, I feel like we came up short. Uh, multiple of, like, these Kaijus that we don't need, these Dino Mist, Steel Cavalry of Dinan. I never even saw this card. I know this card. It's not good, though. We could get, like, Perform Pal Guitar Turtle, more Rhino Warriors and stuff like that. Even the Hollows, like, we got some decent Super Rares. Two Master Pendulum is great. 
but we don't have Vector to even make use of our three Draco face-off. And Twin Twisters and Kaiju Slumber, friggin' awesome cards, right? But like, you're guaranteed a super in every pack, it could do so much better. And then the Ultras, unplayable, I would even say. Infinity was the one card that was making me think like, I gotta keep this, right? Because I already have Ptolemaeus, but I looked into it, I don't have Nova, and there's no way to summon this card at the moment. Not until I would get my hands on a Cyber Dragon Nova, which I don't think that gets a reprint until a later OTS pack. Just seems like every way I look at it, I can definitely do better. So I'm going to hope that I can in my reroll. Let's see what we pick up. All right, 24 more packs of Breakers of Shadows. Please, this time, give me something good. Flip it up. I already losing hope. I'm already losing hope. Oh, okay, never mind. It looks better already. Uh, we got the, the Kaiju Slumber. I'd love to get another play set of this because I genuinely think this card's like pretty good. But Guitar Turtle is one of the rares that I wanted to see. Um, paired with the uh, Monkey Board in the common slot, you can just make some pretty sick decks with just these two and, like I said, Lizard Draw alone, right? Skull Crabat Joker is unfortunately in a starter deck and doesn't get a reprint until a couple years later. So it'll be a little bit difficult to build a, a true-to-form strategy with it, but definitely as an engine, it's got a place. There's our first Twin Twisters on the refund there. One out of two that we got in the first opening. Look, same... This is a good one. I like to see this. Better rares than last time already. I'd love to see more Fiendish Rhino Warriors. Just in case, just in case on the wheel we happen to spin a lucky unbanned ticket. The Dante would be traveling yet again, bro. Yet again. Oh. We got another Kin Can, bro. I, I didn't want him the first time. We got him again. Okay. This is the halfway point. This is just as bad as the first opening. I've... Yet to get an ultra rare besides tin can. I've gotten the same amount of supers and stuff though. I haven't seen monkey board. I, yeah, where is he bro? Where is he? Oh, there's another ultra rare. The quaking mirror force, dude. Imagine I hit Alex with this. He'd be in shambles. He would be in shambles. Okay, there we go. That's a sigh of relief. We got the monkey board, at least one of them. Uh, I'd love to pull three of them to just be able to play with it for the short amount of time. We did get our third guitar though. Sick. Coming up on the end. I don't know how we did it. I think the, the second opening was significantly worse than the first opening. I've yet to get a secret rare. I got some better rares, I guess, but at what cost? I didn't get any Fiendish Rhino Warrior. I got one monkey board. I'm on my last four packs. Yeah, I'm miserable, bro. This is awful. Ugh! My god, the Sacred Soldier, dude. No one's ever summoned this guy. Wow. All right, we're on the last pack. Um... I don't know what to say. I was talking mad game about one of the greatest sets of all time, and I made it look like a joke. I, bro, I got, I got shit on. I don't think I've ever seen this opening this bad for progression series standards. How did I not get any secret rares? How did I not get one? I'm upset, bro. I'm, I'm already in a mood. <laughs> I guess, I guess we're gonna have to save this. I don't have a choice. Uh... Let's see if there's anything different we can even make today. You know, at this point, if I'm going to ask for anything specific, and it's not much, I think I just want Kaiju Slumber because that would be a great way to take advantage of all the Kaijus we have. But also, I just want Dynamist Rex just so we can play Dynamist. That's the only way this opening could get better. And unfortunately, that's like our 900th copy of Chimera Tech Rampage Dragon. Okay, I, as much as I love Twin Twister, I, the fact that we have four of them now is not going to do anything for us. Uh, Timebreaker Magician, though. Good old Masochist card. God, that's like our 900th Dharma Eye Magician, too. That's really unfortunate just because, like, that could have been Rex or Kaiju Slumber. And that's like, if there's anything to complain about with this opening, it's that. Okay, never mind. There's a Rex. <laughs> um, I mean... I'd like more than one Rex. Rex is like the best Dynamis, let's be honest. But, you know, we still got three packs left. Anything's possible. Let's just let's just send the last one. Rhino Warrior and Magispect or Supercell, those aren't going to do anything for us. Second to last pack, uh, Red Eyes Retro Dragon. Nothing too crazy. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. A second Neptibus. That's actually ridiculous. Godard, though, is pretty sick. I I'm not respending this. I'm sorry. We, we just add this. To the when, you when the universe bestows you with triple Twin Twister Solemn Strike, th that's it. Like, you just, you add to the collection, you move on. Let's get to building. I'm going to keep it short and sweet. I'm not happy with my performance with this deck last time, so I'm going to bring it back for another spin. Some things had to be changed. Not major things, though. I think they're pretty easy to fix in the long run. Reinforcement of the Army has gone to one with this ban list, so we had to replace the last two copies. I uh, decided to put something spicy in, which is Royal Magical Library. Might not have seen this card since way back in the day, bro, but each time a spell card's activated, we put a spell counter on it, remove three, draw a card. These are all spell cards when you put them in the Pendulum Zone, so hopefully we should be able to draw one or two additional cards in the turn. Also helps that, like, Upstart Goblin, Pot of Greed, these are cards just... 
available to us. Side deck has been changed up a little bit. Vanity's Fiend might be able to shut down an entire matchup if it's uh, against the correct thing, right? I don't have much to say except that I'm very upset with the gameplay that I had in the last game. I just literally had to pendulum summon one different guy and I would win, I think, in two different scenarios. Um, so I really have no one to blame except myself there. And I don't even think this deck is bad. I, I, just, I think most strategies, you know, if I'm able to pendulum summon five, most decks can't take care of that without a Dark Hole or Raigeki. And if I don't commit extra deck monsters, I can just bring them back the following turn and put them into something actually threatening like an XYZ monster. I just got to play this a lot tighter this episode here and hope Alex doesn't play some OTK strat that can throw us off guard again. So we can get a win. I think we need it. All right, so last time we had some problems when we played this deck. I'll admit, maybe not, you know, knowing how some of the interactions work didn't help us, but I actually think this deck is okay, and I modified it a bit, especially now that we have some of the new support cards. I think it's going to go a lot better this time. I also have the feeling that since Gage's back is against the wall, he might want to play some, like, balls-to-the-walls OTK deck that's just going to play a lot of gas and then just, you know, play Twin Twisters and stuff like that. So I'm trying to play the deck that's going to counteract that, so I'm playing, like, all, like, like the, the battle stoppers or the OTK stoppers like Battle Fader and then Gores. I'm playing a deck that doesn't lose a Twin Twister and so we can play our own Twin Twister as well. So it's pretty heads up, but we'll see if it plays out. So let's quickly do the card by card. Of course, we have the triple Battle Fader. Only one Deskbot 1 because honestly, that's all we really need. Triple O2, triple O3, triple O4, triple Gores, triple O5, and double O6. I don't think 6 is particularly good, but we do need it for scales and it's good to have another name in a Pendulum Zone. So it's fine. It's not great, but I think it's okay. And then for the spells, we have triple Chicken Game, Double Dark Hole, Triple Forbidden Lance, Limit Removal, because I want to cheese some wins, Triple Machine Dupe, the Pot of Greed, the Triple Twin, and of course, the Triple Upstart Goblin. The extra, I gotta be honest, we're probably never gonna really use it. I mean, we have Black Rose Brio, we have Deskbot Jet, which is very funny, but again, it's a Synchro 10, which is kind of hard to make just naturally in this deck. We have Formula Synchron Leo, Mistworm, Naturia Barkia, Naturia Beast, Stardust, and Yazi. And then for Xyz, we have Dweller, Adrius, Castell, Exiton, and 101. For the side deck, I've got some Veilers in case he is going Mega Aggro. I have Triple Vanity's Fiend, Triple Storm. Stormforth, in case he's playing a special summon heavy deck, we could board into this, and this is something he just won't expect. Stormforth can out a lot of annoying stuff. And funny enough, we can also just Stormforth for an 05. It's not great, but if we have like Machine Dupe, we can like dupe for two more. So there actually is some utility outside of just using this for Vanity Fiend. And then we have a lot of traps because if Gage knows desk bots, he knows that this deck doesn't really play much back row. And so he might board out of his like twin twisters and spell and trap removal. That's when we bring in our trap cards depending on the matchup. So if he's playing like a clown blade sort of variant, we can go uh, for double Blackhorn as well as the Mischief of the Gnomes. If he's on Battery Men, we can bring in the Light Mirrors. And if he's on the Mirror, we can actually bring in Overworked, which is just a Board Wipe. And yes, this is a Board Wipe that affects us as well. Ideally, we want to use it as like a one-sided Board Wipe. I like this a little bit better than Mirror Force because Mirror Force has to wait for the Battle Phase and Overworked, depending on if he already has like an O2 established. If he goes like, you know, summon like an O5 out of nowhere to like pop, if it's Overworked, we can chain it. But unfortunately, if it's Mirror Force, it would just get destroyed. So we kind of have a little something for everything in the side deck and uh, we'll see if it plays out so ladies and gentlemen let's not make you wait any longer it's time to duel Gage, I don't know how we keep ping-ponging like this. First, like, I send you into the banning, and then you reversal 3-0 send me into the banning, and now I'm about to reversal 3-0 you back into the banning once again. This is, uh, the, the, the progression series highs and lows, that's for sure. Yeah, season two, it's <laughs> neck and neck. I've always been saying, bro, at least it's not like the, the 80 and four, like, that, this year, like <laughs> record that we had last game, like time. So I'm happy with where, where it's at right now. I'd love to maintain the lead for a little bit, but I've yet to get there. Yeah, forget Breakers of Shadow, more like Breaker of Willpower yeah, at that Breaker point. of but, uh, balls, How are you feeling bro. about Breakers of Shadow? <laughs> yeah, that's balls, true. Uh, this set, uh, it's iconic. I remember like at the start of the year, this was uh, one of the craziest sets. I think I was prefacing yeah. it when I was saying it. I was like, this is the set where everyone said, oh, those pendulum cards, they're gonna be a thing. Like, up until then, they were like, oh, like, they do the cute Ignite stuff every now and again, but uh -huh. nothing was really uh -huh. crazy with them. And then we got Pendulum Sorcerer, and we got uh, the, the, the Draco face-off and all the materials yep. with it, and everyone just... Yep lost it. It was crazy. I said in my opening, imagine if Monkey Board was released, but it was a secret instead of a yeah. comic. That would have been like the most expensive deck of all time, hands down. Yeah, yeah. I still remember <laughs> things like uh, Solemn Strike, Cyber Dragon Infinity, Trap Tricks yeah. for Flesia was like a killer mm -hmm. turn one play to make. These are all mm -hmm. like, in this set, crazy, crazy yeah. good set, bro.
We always talk about it's the green sets and like the black sets <laughs> are some of the most game warpingly powerful, uh, historically anyway. And that's not always true, but uh, I would say like uh, more often than not, they are going to be a, a significant degree of power creep. Funny, the ultras in the set are all terrible. They are. <laughs> uh, but everything else in the set is crazy. Don't be, but, this is my man case, Neptibus. Funny, Neptibus was that guy. Oh, wait, sorry. Neptibus was the only playable ultra like in this set. I'm convinced. But let's shout the Patreon. Let's get into it. Damage Step Kalut. Thank you for the support. <laughs> sorry, buddy. Not to not to get you tilted Past before we start its prime, the episode, I'm not but. even worried about it, bro. I don't even know what you're. What would you do if I go normal sum insurance? I, I would. I'd, I'd, I'd be like, a, that's a free win. Thanks, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, I needed that one. Thanks right. for the homie win. Well, there you go. There's your free rock paper scissors. I rolled two sixes in sequential order. So, what are you doing, buddy? All right, man. I'll be taking the driver's seat. I will be going first. Okay. Best of luck. Best of luck. Let's see what we're doing today. Stand by main phase bro i was so disappointed with my uh performance last week that i had to bring this back again for redemption i'm going to you brought it back <laughs> i'm okay. gonna activate the ignite cavalier and in my sure. other scale i'm gonna use magic specter kieran okay uh, yeah might not add up right uh i'll clear those up with wavering eyes <laughs> i was about to say there, there's a little wavering uh <laughs> eyes i feel like is in our future yeah here. i'm gonna pick up the wavering eyes i'm gonna pick up two more cards from the deck here um i'm going to pick up you're gonna pick up one one you're right and i'm gonna take five yeah exactly could you imagine if Wavering Eyes was two? Holy <laughs> shit, that would be insane. What am I making against you, man? See, so the thing was is like, I realized the play was to just put some bros out and not make anything last time mm -hmm. because I, I kind of figured out what you were playing, right? But you could be up to anything. So maybe just getting some dudes in play is the right move. I don't know. What are my XYZ options? I can make like Audreas or Tyrus again. And they, they didn't stand a chance, bro. Those, <laughs> those guys, every single time <laughs> I put them out, they did a whole bunch of nothing. Um, I mean, Tyrus actually survived to the point where it lost all of its material. He for sure tried his best. I, I, <laughs> I'm happy that he did. All right, I, I think I figured it out. I'm going to pick up the sixes, actually. I think that's the move. Sure. So I'm going to pick up a Gallant from deck. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I'm going to scale up Gallant, Veteran, and I'm going to use those. High scale. Um, I'm going to pick up a Margrave out the deck, and then I'm going to reinforcement yep. of the army for the last piece here. Sure. I'll just pick up a Ignite Paladin here. That's okay. fine. We're going to scale them up. Two, seven. Big Pendulum Summon. Couple six. Imagine if I just Typhoon. I do, dude. That'd, that'd be the, the tech of the century. All right, we're gonna bring out a whole bunch of guys here. Kieran, two yep. sixes. I'm gonna overlay the sixes. I'm going to make Strike Balancer. Sure. I. Uh, this is powerful, bro. I. I hope this lasts. Uh, I'll pass turn to you. All right, I'll draw. Uh, we'll go stand by main. I do have to deal with Kieran, which is kind of frustrating to deal you with. You have to deal with Bouncer too. Is he just not scary? Uh, no. no, I don't. <laughs> no, come on. <laughs> oh, um, cannot be targeted or destroyed by card effects. Uh, this is probably just going yeah, to happen. Yeah, Kieran survives. This will, this will be yeah. fine. Um, these guys will go to Grave, Cavalier to Extra. Kieran's around. Yep. It's fine. All right. Um, thinking what I want to do now. Guess I can just force this Kieran out of you. It's not too difficult. Yeah, let's do that. Gage, you're not the only one bringing decks that you played in previous episodes. Mr. Deskbot <laughs> 3 has returned. Uh, yeah, uh, he's fine. He's going to resolve. Uh, it's not going to be fine when you see what I'm grabbing, because we're going to go for our little friend over Yeah, he's here. that that guy means business. I'm familiar <laughs> with him. Yeah. We'll try for battle phase. We're going to get uh, in. Yeah, you read it. I will have to Kieran here, bouncing back that. Yep. So. Um, before you do that, I will chain my O3 and buff himself. That's fine. Uh, just to get the boost while the 04 is still out yep. on the field. But they're going to get bounced. Uh, 03 is going to hit for 1,500 here. Oh, my bad. I just didn't put that in correctly. Yep. You're fine. Okay, cool. Cool. Uh, second main, I think I am just going to probably just win the game, right? That seems like a fun play. I'm just going to twin twister and just blow your scales into oblivion. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess, bro. I actually don't want chicken <laughs> I mean, game. I, I mean, yeah, I guess, bro. Here. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Nice Kieran in hand. Go ahead. Go. Go ahead. <laughs> I was going to say, I hope that's a high scale. Oh, my God. I didn't think it could get any better. Uh, What are you setting? Fucking anything? You're not playing real back row. Whatever. Machine do. <laughs> <laughs> can I just scoop here? Is that okay? Yeah, can you, you can <laughs> if you want. <laughs> I don't even want to play this anymore, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> 
this is gonna be pump pump. Yeah, uh, yeah, you got this one, bro. Game one. Yeah, all right. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Oh my god, that was miserable. What the fuck? I look. I want to just typically throw out the <laughs> anime protagonist powers, man. Like I could, I could sit here and say he had Dark Hole, Twin Twister, the normal summon O3 into the machine. I could, I could say a lot right now, bro. But I think we should just go to game two. Uh, I hope that doesn't happen again. That was kind of embarrassing. I'm fine that with that. That was kind of embarrassing. I'm fine with that. What are you gonna do? First or second, first buddy? Again, I think it's the play. Okay. All right. All right, man, let's see. That's the luck, yeah, my I, friend. I'm going to need it, bro. Let's see. Oh, oh, oh wait. <laughs> this is kind of fucking hot. You might like this, bro. Okay. All right, man. Cute little tech addition that I added to the deck. I'm going to start by okay. normal summoning. A little bit different. I'm going to normal summon Royal Magical Library, bro. <laughs> oh, shit. Were you not on this no, last no, no, time? No, I decided to put it in this. Oh, time. this is bad. Reinforcement this of the is army bad. Something, right? Oh, that's right. Road is yep. limited now. I'm going to follow it up with Summoner's Art. Giving the yep. Royal Magical Library a counter, I'll add a level five or higher vanilla. Off of that, I will pick. Yeah, RML is where this deck gets oh, yeah. out of hand. I'm gonna pick up the uh, Ignite Gallant. Okay. Yep. This is this is super cool, bro. I'm gonna activate Pot of Greed <laughs> with the oh, Royal Magical my Library. God. Look at that. Two more. All right, it's only fair. I had my good hand last <laughs> it, game. It you get your good fair. hand this game. Third spell, painful decision, bro. Won't be a yep. difficult choice for me. I will dump the squire. I'll add a squire. Sure. Haven't even used the ignites yeah, yet. Yeah, you know I get. That's the third spell. I'll remove three. I'll draw a card. Nice. All right. Um, let's go scale. Scale. Two counters. Mm -hmm. I will go upstart goblin. You can take a thousand. I'll draw a card. Appreciate you. And then I'll spend the three. Sure. I'll draw another card off of Royal Magical Library. Okay, bro. Things are getting out of hand already. <laughs> this is a lot of fucking cards I'm going to be seeing. All right. I we're going to use the Ignites. We're going to extra deck these. I will pull up a... I'll pull up a Margrave here. Sure. I'll scale Paladin, and I'll scale Margrave. Two more. Two more counters. Um, and then I'm going to activate Wavering Eyes. I'm going to extra deck these. Sure. So I'll take five. You'll search, and you'll get another counter I on will. your library. Yep. All right. Got to pick the specific ones this time. Um, I'm going to pull out the Kirin. Yep. Nice yep. you can and search then, it. And uh, then I'll spend three. Draw a card. Okay. All right. Okay. We're going to scale the Kirin, and I'm going to scale this Gallant. I'm gonna okay. Give it two. And I've got another Wavering Eyes. <laughs> another <laughs> so Wavering I'll Eyes. I'll pop Jeez. these ones. Extra deck, sure. and I'll search one. I'm also going to take another yeah, five. Thousand Don't damage before that. the game's even started. Sequential order. Fix your Sequential life point, order. Way. It says eight thousand for me still. I think you gained the life point. No, uh, upstart. I, <laughs> I gained a thousand yeah. from upstart. Think, yeah. So we're back at we're back at square one. I forgot about the upstart. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Right. I guess I'm going to pick up veteran here. Let me make sure that's the choice. It is. It is. That's fine. I'm going to use my three on Royal Magical Library. I'll draw another card. Okay. Extra decks looking nice and loaded it over is, there. Bro. I'm gonna reinforcement of the army. Pick up a warrior out the deck, bro. I'll pick up the uh, the paladin. Puts a counter on the library. It does. I'm seeing my whole deck here. Um. Okay. I'm gonna. I can start warping the extra deck how I want it to here. Problem is, bro. I don't have anything that beats fucking dark hole, bro. You <laughs> 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 dark hole me again. I'm gonna lose the whole damn board. Um. I was about to say this is this is a lot of effort just to lose to a dark yeah, hole bro. at the end of the day. Okay. Uh, let's go Paladin, Cavalier. Two more counters. Two more counters. Uh, I'm going to pop them both. I'll pick up a Paladin from deck here. Yep. Remove the three. Draw a card. That's an awesome draw. Scale. Scale. Two more. Two more counters. Am I done? <laughs> I don't know. Are you? I think, I think, I, I think I'm done. I think that's all. You're I halfway do. through your I deck. I know. I know. All right. I will, I will perform, Alex. The Pendulum Summon. I hope you're ready for it. Uh, let's go. Right. One. Always got to bring out the Kieran. This one's powerful. Kieran beats Dark Hole, to be he fair. He does. He does beat Dark Hole. <laughs> he, he, yes, he does. I'm going to... I don't know if I'm going to like this. <laughs> I'm going to see how it works out. Uh, oh, wait. Let me let me make sure then. Okay. All right. Let's see. For the Pendulum Summon, I, I don't know how this is going to turn out. I hope I like it. Um, 
I'm going to pendulum summon QB from hand. And then okay. from the extra deck, I'm going to go Margrave and I'm going to go Cavalier. Getting fives. Yes. Okay. I'm going to use QB's effect. Yep. I will pick up a Tempest from the deck. Sure. Okay. I'm going to take these two. I'm going to exceed them into the one guy that beats Dark Hole, bro. Tyrus. Wow, you are really scared of Dark Hole. That's so <laughs> fucking funny. Yep. I'll take these two and I'll make um I'm going to make Ragna Zero with these two actually. That's a fair card. Yeah, I don't think it's that yeah. bad. I am going to set two spells or traps. And I'm going to go to the end phase. I think Tyrus detaches. Yep. Uh no, cuz it didn't battle. Oh no, it does. It does still phase, detach. Yep. Never mind. Yeah. Go ahead, your turn. Dark Hole me now. Alex. All right. Yeah, that'd be funny. Um, main one. All right, so I have to be careful of Ragna. Tyrus is kind of just chilling. Kieran's annoying. Kieran's kind of weird, though, because I know you have Tempest, but it's like you can only use Kieran or Tempest. You can't use both. I expect one of them to stop your turn fully, so. Yeah, I mean, like, they're both good, respectively. Well, I'm going to start by drawing a card with Upstart. Sure, I'll take a That's thousand okay. life points, bro. That's two copies of Wavering Eyes if you got them, bro. <sighs> <laughs> yeah. This isn't going to be easy, my friend. This is not going to be easy. That's what I like to hear. Let me see you try to tackle it. I'm going to run out Deskbot 4. Ah, uh, this is the one guy that causes problems, let me tell you. This is like, yeah. I don't know if I can just let you stick around with this. We figure out if you, you bounce the machine dupe target, it, it doesn't resolve, right? Correct, because machine dupe checks on yeah. res. I think this is probably going to be fine. Like... Like, what, you go battle phase, and then I can bounce it back? Yeah, this is fine. That's fine. A battle okay. phase. Um, I will, at the start step of battle phase, I'll use the Kieran. I'm going to put it back to sure. hand and the Despot. Sure. Second main, I'm going to Twin Twister destroy your scales. The scales? Okay. Yeah. I'll allow it. That's fine. Then I'm going to set one and okay. pass. I will draw Stand by me. Yep. <clears throat> I'll just go to the battle phase. Uh, I'll declare an attack for 24. Take it. I'll declare an attack for 26. I'll take it. Uh, end of the battle phase, uh, pop this face down with tears. Sure. I don't think it was doing <laughs> Oh, the overworked. <laughs> he, bro. That's crazy. He's trying to get a bit cheeky with yeah. that one. All right. Uh, I'm just going to tribute the tears for the Kieran. Sure. Uh, I'll just pass. Go ahead. And I'll draw. Stand by main. Worked so well last time. We're going to try it again. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, yeah, right. start step uh, we'll in the hit. battle phase. I'll do the same thing. Yep. Sure. Uh, second main, I wow. will pass. Thrilling. Draw. Stand by main. Uh, I will normal summon QB. <laughs> no effect. <laughs> battle sure. phase. 15. Doors? Um, yeah, I was going to say, uh, I have the, uh, the Tempest <laughs> to beat it, so good game for you. That was uh, that was rough. Uh, obviously, desk bots have their weaknesses, and when you can only summon one monster a turn into a Kirin, that is obviously going to show. I'm gonna take second. Maybe counterintuitive, but I'm trying to kill you. So, All let's right. see what you got. I mean, probably also sided correctly for that too. So let's see if it's the right choice. I'll go stand by me. All right, man. Um, I've got something that I can do here. We'll go veteran Margrave. Sure. And I'll just pop them both off. No RML this time. Happy to see that. <laughs> Every time. Every time I make something, <laughs> it just gets destroyed. I, I don't want to, like, make anything anymore. It's not it's not fun anymore, Alex. Like, fun for who exactly? Fun yeah, for me? Fun yes. For fun me, for bro. you? No. Fun for the audience? Yes. <laughs> Every time. Every time. All right. I'll pick up a another Ignite Veteran out the deck here. Sure. Trying to go for the sixes, it looks like. Uh, I'll scale up Veteran and Squire. Use those yep. off. I'll pick up another... I'll pick up another Margrave here. Yep. Sure. This is probably fine. I'll scale QB and I'll scale Margrave. That's your scales. And then I will Pendulum Summon. I'll go six. Six. I'll summon the fucking dorks for no reason. And last up, I'll summon QB. <laughs> no, hey. Declare the effect. Sure, that's fine. Okay, so I'll pick up Tempest, and I will overlay these two veterans into... <laughs> bro, he's going to do something, I promise, this time. Photon right, Strike you. Bouncer. Go ahead, your move. All right, uh, I will draw. Stand by me. 
Yep. All right, buddy. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, my fucking God, bro. I can't. All right. That's fine. Yep. Everything's okay. <laughs> Is everything okay? You don't sound like you're okay over Cubie there, buddy. sticks around. All right. Cool. I'm, you, I'm just saying you don't sound like you're okay over there, buddy. No, That's all I'm, I'm saying. I'm doing all right, bro. There's no way you opened this god hand two games in a row, bro. How, what's Dark Hole at? Is it at three? It's There's a no two. Shot. It's I a two. This game is unbelievable. I can't. Uh, I'm going to take both of you. I'm going to take the back row and your QB out. Yep. And uh, it gets worse for you, buddy. I'm sorry. Yeah, okay, yeah. All right, bro. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We'll, we'll attack. Uh, yep. We'll declare. Yep. Thinking on the send here. Uh, it's probably just going to be uh, different levels from hand and or grave. Yeah, so we're going to go five. Yep. Uh, we're going to get two five. Five yep. is going to pop the other scale. Two is going to search. Yep. Uh, we will grab... We grab... Fucking anything. Doesn't really matter at this point. Just as an oh shit button, I guess I'll take a four. And uh we're uh we're chilling. We're chilling. Go ahead, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> wow, man, it, uh, that gave me the confidence I need, Rona, to, to win this game. I dude, I don't even want to be your friend anymore after this. Like I, I, I like I, you should see me over here right now, bro. Like I, I'm fucking balding, bro. Like, like I, 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 I lose. Like I, that's it. That's the end of the game. I guess I'll like entertain you, whatever. I guess I'll normal summon the QB. Hey, I effect. mean that's something, I guess. Wow, let's go, man. The game winner during either player's turn. I gotta reread these cards just to make sure they're as good as I remember. All right, battle phase. I'm gonna kill the the one that doesn't go to the graveyard. Sure. <laughs> the, yeah, I was gonna say five. you can't take out four, but you can take out two. Yeah, go ahead, your turn. All right, I guess I do still have to play on the fact that that is Tempest, which is kind of annoying, but... Yeah, you uh, know how you do that? Battle phase. Battle phase, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, bro. You're, oh, not, wait, wrong. This, You're not wrong. It's during damage count. Oh, but it... You're a counter trap, oh, so... You, it does, it negates the to. activation. That's yeah, it negates activation, yeah. yeah. You can do that. Um, I'm trying to, like, win the game, buddy. Like, that's the thing. Because I don't want you to get, like, Pot of Greed into two scales, and then all of a sudden you can just, like, summon your whole fucking extra deck. Because that is a possibility. It's 30 wow, cards. Wow, yeah, but... yeah, man. You, you put a lot of stock into me being able to, yeah. to somehow come back in this game. All right. I mean, whatever. You can Tempest me no matter what I do. I'll go three effect. Yeah. yeah I, I, I think that's correct. I think that's correct. Uh, we'll go to attack. Uh, these guys yep. are both... a. Oh, no, only the four is actually a 1,000. Because um, the Despot yep. 2 is everything besides itself. So I guess we'll just go five and a 1,000. Yep. Uh, we'll go second main. I'll throw one down. Over to you. Uh, draw. Go ahead. Right. Draw. <laughs> Dude, I know this is Twin Twister 2. <laughs> Fuck off. I know, I know it doesn't matter what I draw. This is another Twin Twister, bro. I'll get yeah, another four fine. out. <laughs> yeah. Um... I don't think there's anything else I can... Re I'm really trying to speed it up here, buddy. I promise you. <laughs> yeah, I, I appreciate giving me the uh, the two homie turns here. I'm going to just take it yeah. all. Yep. Maybe I should have just like waited on the three and just forced I don't think four. so. Yeah, I think you probably should have. Yeah. Uh, draw. It's fine. I boot, bro, I, I could be alive one more turn. <laughs> so I'm just going to pass. Let's let's hope yeah. you don't have a, a way to oh kill me. God. I fucking hate this. I don't like that I'm giving you time here. <laughs> I don't know what good it'll do, bro. I'm, I'm, I don't know what good uh, it'll yeah, do. Yeah, 25. Yep, I'm going to take it all. All right. Uh, over to you. All right. like, li Listen, man. Hold on. <laughs> all right. Listen, man. <laughs> Look, you you putting up all this play and stuff like that, and I know this is Twin Twister. And if it is, none of this mattered. But but, <laughs> but I have a chance here. So I'll go main phase one. I'll activate Rona. That's fine. Okay. I have a level three high scale. That is the squire. Okay. I'm going to scale. Oh, man, I might have to play this carefully now. How do I, <laughs> oh, how do I win this game now? Uh, I guess we're going to go scale squire. Scale. Flip it up. <laughs> Please. You're good. It's okay. Oh, oh, my God. That's why, right. I, that's why I'm like, I can't believe it. Yeah, you might actually be in this somehow. Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm going to pendulum summon. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's crazy. We're going to go. QB, I am out of Tempest as I sided. Thank down. God. Uh, we'll go QB, 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 <laughs> Margrave, Margrave. Okay. And I'll bring out this in defense. I do find it funny no, that no, you no. have all Sorry, three QBs one. gone. I have this in my hand. This is way better. Oh my God, uh, that is way better. Yeah. Okay. Right. 
<gasps> oh god, this clears. Okay. Um, I will overlay my two cubies. Mm -hmm. I will make Ragna Zero. It's crazy. Ragna Zero. I will pop this O4. Draw a card. You're not dead this turn. So you can take a thousand more life. I was about to say, I'd be shocked if I was. Oh, we're, the, the come up is unbelievable. Oh my pot of green. god. This is exactly what I said. Not exactly, but I mean, the fact that you drew pot off of that's unreal. Look, I the thing is, is I do have to survive a turn. Like I, I literally cannot like, I cannot fuck up. <laughs> uh, I haven't normal summoned. Not that that matters. Oh, it does matter. Oh, it does matter a lot. That's actually, that's cool. Okay, uh, I'm gonna use these ignites and I'll pick up a Paladin from deck. Yep. I will normal summon said Paladin. Sure. I will overlay these two Margraves. Yeah, no lethal line here, bro. You're, you're lucky you live. Um, Adrius. Yeah, it is probably gonna be Adrius. Yep. The Keeper of Armageddon, and I will pop the other 04. Yep. Okay, bro, battle phase. Yep. Two six into the 02 here. Say 21. Jesus. 14 direct. Yep. Two four direct. Yep. And then two, yep. All right, man. Well, I, I got nothing else here. It's in it's in Jesus's hands right now. Your move. Go ahead. We'll draw. Oh my god. Mm, I just realized I sort of. Well, I already punted this, but I punted a second time. But I actually don't think it would have mattered in all honesty. That's well, look, insane. I mean, it's a good change of pace because I punted the last two episodes. <laughs> so <laughs> it's only fair, right? It's gonna like, be the punt aggression series. That's what we're gonna rename this. Yeah, you got it. Oh my god, I had given up all hope, bro. I can't I was believe like, it. There's no I literally can't life. believe it came down what to me this? doing that three What's instead of the grip? four. What's my god. Grip? So I had another dark hole, but it doesn't matter with you having Kieran, right? Mm -hmm. And so where I realized I messed up is this was just a lance. So what I could have done was I should have lanced Ragna Zero. I forgot you can't target Kieran. So if I lanced Ragna Zero, I could have summoned Gores. But the thing is, you could just mm -hmm. Kieran bounce Gores, and you can keep mm -hmm. Kieran on the field because you can bounce this Paladin back. So Kieran doesn't go yep. anywhere. You would have yep. had to specifically bounce Kieran back. Then I dark hole. But the problem is I had no other follow-up. It was just that, that, and then I had this moron just sitting in my hand doing absolutely nothing uh so wow yeah that that literally was it it literally if i did not summon if i summoned four instead of three and uh just because in my mind i'm like oh yeah this doesn't matter oh it 100 percent mattered because we just fucking lost because of it. yeah i even think if you you maybe you just don't summon at all because then you give me the opportunity to remove the badge specter that i summoned if you would have just let me have it. Well, oh, no, 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 because I, mean, I would still summon the four because what I'm going to yeah, do is if I go battle base, yeah. attack, you're going to Tempest my four yeah. activation no matter yeah. what. So at that point, I may as well get in for the damage. Then yeah, next right. turn, I summon three. Three gets two, and then you're dead in like a turn or two at yeah, most. Right. Yeah, so holy shit. I can't believe we actually fucking lost that. That's unbelievable. Yeah, I think that I'm kind of just as shocked as you are, bro. But I needed this win. I was, I was saying it. Uh, in the deck profile and stuff, I, I really desperately need this win, bro, because the last two had been super punts, and I, I just couldn't leave off on that. Well, I guess you're contagious, because now I'm the one doing it. Holy shit, that was fucking... Damn. That was, I literally did not think it was going to matter all that much, and, and here we are. I thought I would get at least I, another desk bot across all... I kept drawing nothing but non-engine that whole time. These desk bots you see, I had these from turn one. I had all of these desk bots from turn wow. one, and did not draw a single other... That would have been better than the fucking gores, at least, but... But, oh, there's Machine Dupe. That would have been nice to have, like, five turns ago. But I can't be mad. I, I did not, in my mind, I'm like, oh, yeah, this doesn't matter. I was trying to, like, just end the game instead of, like, thinking logically. Who would have thought? Um, <laughs> but, yeah, good game. I, good game. I, I gave you the opportunity, and you fucking, you destroyed me as a result of it. So. Hey, man, another nail biter. Chalk it up for another good episode of Progression Series. How yeah. did you do on Breakers of Shadows, though, man? We were talking so much game on this set. Such a cool oh. set. But did you end well, up getting anything good? You saw I got Twin Twister. I got mm -hmm. I got four Twin Twister, actually. I nice, got more nice. than I needed. I also pulled a Solemn Strike, which is pretty sick. Ooh, that uh, is sick. That's a cool Yeah, card. and that, I think, is, like, it for the highlights. I don't think there's anything else, like, too ridiculous. But, I mean, it's already pretty good as far as Breakers of Shadow goes. What about you? I kind of, bro, I actually spent the Redoer ticket on this set. I don't blame I you. Optimistic. I would. Yeah, I was optimistic. I was like, the first time around, I didn't get any Guitardle. I got, like, the three monkey boards that you needed. I got seven of them, actually. But I got that, and then the only... Only hollows I got were Cosmo Tin Can, Shiranui Shogun Saga, and Cyber Dragon Infinity. That's crazy. <laughs> and you might be like, Infinity was like the card to get if you remember in Breakers of Shadows. Right. But right. the thing was, is like the only thing piecing it together is I'm missing one part of the puzzle. Because you would go in this deck, or like, not, not this deck, um, the Pendulum deck, the Performpal yep. one, you would mm -hmm. put out Ptolemaeus, mm -hmm. and then you would go into Nova and then Infinity. 
Right. Nova's a structure deck card. Yep. <laughs> so yep. I was like, I have the Ptolemies and everything, but that one missing part of the puzzle made it just completely useless, actually. So I was like, I could probably do better, get more hollows on a respin, and I respun, and I got dicked on, bro. I got nothing. <laughs> I got no secret rares. I got the tin can again. Um, just very frustrating. I didn't get it. So anything. no I got twin one twister or anything? No, I got three twin twisters and stuff. Oh, I okay. Guess. Like the, the, All right. I got like two slumber and stuff like that stuff you might typically realize but the one that i was upset about bro is i got i got one monkey board on my respin one monkey Ooh. board i felt well, ripped off <laughs> you didn't get double pen sork like season one thankfully yeah so yeah don't have to contest <laughs> yeah. with that that would have been a disaster especially since our our pool is so more uh has so much more potential compared to season one that would have been terrifying Mm -hmm. But man, this this one Kieran just just taking the lead. Uh, speaking of this, I actually for my wheel had the opportunity to get a wild card. It was only a rare wild card, so nothing too crazy. Uh, but oh, Kieran was okay. one of the options. I ended up taking a second Gamma Seal, so you can rest easy. I figure Gamma Seal has like the most staying power out of everything. Yeah, so, I guess that's pretty safe. Wait, wait. Yeah, this one. Uh, Kieran's yeah. gonna get limited anyway eventually, so I'm like that doesn't really seem worth it in the long run. But yeah. Good games, buddy. You're safe from the banning, and uh, another episode of the Punt Gresham series down in the books. It's the best thing about it, bro. Best thing about it. <laughs> <laughs> So guys, that's going to wrap it up for another video. I really hope you all enjoy. Let's go ahead and shout the patrons for all of their continued support. So shout to Shout1317, Tim00x3, MBT Play Medolce, Moto, Cameron L. Smith, Phoenix the Immortal, Pony Stark, The Synchro Guy, Dan the Man Hoban, Little Fade Leaf, Draconic, Dylan Rare Hunter, JW11860, Extremely Vulgar Man, Brody Eastwood, Flannel Daddy, Chrono the Branded Enjoyer, Twinkle Muncher, Matthew Brady, Uncle Brian of Stardust, Power Rave, but without a stupidly long name that barely makes any sense and is annoying to read out loud, Cheeks McLapperty, Stolfin Amethyst, Wonder Waffle, MBT cancel by all community soon, cancel by all committee soon, cancel by all players soon, Nicholas Carpenter, Corvain, Calvin Tempest, RIP Akira Toriyama, Daniel Howell, and life keeps using solemn judgment on my hopes and dreams. Thank you all so much for watching, and we will see you next time.